Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today you are watching a game of Kill Confirmed on the map raid. And turns out that this is actually a really old gameplay. And not really old as in like a lot of days ago, but a lot of games ago. I've been playing Call of Duty like crazy, and that's why you haven't seen a Minecraft video in like 10 days. Uh, and actually it might be 11 days by now, I'm not too sure. But regardless, Minecraft, it needs a little break for me. Uh, I just... I was waiting on the redstone update, so I think I'm going to wait until that comes out. I'm not sure when it's going to come out officially, but uh, once it does, I'll be kicking up Minecraft once again. Now, I will have to say, uh, this old gameplay, you can tell it's old because I'm using the Uber Elite Elite camo, which is the weird puke vomit looking uh, autumn or was it autumn or fall camo in Modern Warfare 2? That was the first time they introduced the fall camo, and it it just looks like vomit. I will have to say that, but... Anyways, I'm using that and a red dot sight, so you know it's an old gameplay. I did not have any attachments. And by the way, if you hear the dog barking upstairs, it's just because my sister's here and she doesn't know how to keep a dog quiet. And um, anyways, um, so I was using red dot sight, and that's actually something really interesting. And I wanted to talk about it today. It, and the thing is, is that red dot sight doesn't, even though it you know improves the accuracy stat in general, like whenever you at apply the attachment, it says, ooh, the accuracy improves. Well, that doesn't actually, like, most people think the accuracy of the weapon. They don't think of how easy it is to control. They think of how much recoil it has. Now, those things are two, you know, related things. But if you're talking about a stat of the gun, then it shouldn't be based on how well you can control it. Because that's relative to each person. It's just, it's not uh, not a standard fact at all. So, the reason that uh, it gives an increased accuracy, because in general, you're going to aim better with it. But it's not a reduction of recoil in any form or fashion. So why is it that this red dot sight gives you better aim on shotguns? Now, the thing is, on other guns, it does give you an improved accuracy because it clears out the clutter of most sights. Now, most iron sights do have quite a bit of clutter in them, and they're a little bit difficult to um, put on target. Now, a lot of shotguns can get one-shot kills, which is kind of the benefit, and I don't know why that guy was just sitting in the corner, that made me so mad. Um, but a lot of uh, gun shotguns can get one-shot kills, so it's not necessary to keep the target on or in your crosshairs for a long while. It's just kind of important to get there, you know, just, just for a few seconds. Whereas for, not even a few seconds, for a very minute amount of time, less than a second. Whereas, like, with the MP7 or any SMG, it takes a little bit longer. You know, it doesn't it doesn't take a whole, you know, two seconds to kill the person, but it does take a, a while to get those bullets dished out. It doesn't take, you know, too long, but it does take a lot longer than a shotgun in general. That's why whenever you get killed by a shotgun, it feels like you just got blown apart. Well, it's because they can release, you know, three bullets uh, really fast, you know, kind of as fast as, like, the MSMC, and completely destroy you in, like, two shots. You know, with the S12, two shots with the S12 is a common kill uh, from a really close distance, whereas, you know, it takes, you know, three or four with the MSMC or whatever it may be. I'm not too sure, but uh, regardless, it feels like you're getting destroyed. But the thing is, with shotguns, is that you don't need that many shots on target. Why is it that running shotguns sometimes give people a little advantage? Now, this has actually been uh, kind of peculiar to me for quite a while because I was thinking, you know, should I run a red dot sight on some things? Because it feels as if I do better playing with it. And although although that's not uh, a disadvantage using the iron sights, I think it's just an advantage to use the red dot sight. It's much clearer, and you've got a high contrasting uh, rim around the red dot sight. It's that dark iron ring, and then it's clear, and then you have that single red dot that you can place on the enemy. It's extremely easy to aim it, and you end up aiming more. So there is a little bit of a factor. The way it's designed encourages aiming uh, in all guns. No matter what gun you use, it encourages actually using the sights instead of hip firing, which is not really necessary on a shotgun. Now, there is one last point that I'd like to talk about about the shotguns with red dot sight, and that is the placebo effect. The fact of the matter is that because it's a shotgun, you fire from the hip quite a lot. Right there, I fired from the hip. Now, one reason I did that is because he was close, and aiming down sight would have gotten me killed. However, aiming down sight isn't the thing that you're going to do all the time at all with any weapon. You're going to be hip firing from up close. But the thing is, the red dot sight, it gives you a little bit of a placebo effect. The fact of the matter is that it, it, it just gives you this, like, oh, I've got a better sight. 
It feels like it's more accurate. It feels like on more pinpoint, things are sharper, clearer, things are more are cleaner. And because of that, it seems as if that it gives you a, an accuracy bonus. Whereas all it is is a placebo effect. It just gives you the opportunity to do that. Now, some people say, oh, well, that opportunity is the accuracy increase. No, an accuracy increase in the weapon would be a reduction of recoil. Oh, and by the way, there is somebody on my friends list who joined uh, the game, uh, and for some reason he didn't back out. So this is kind of boosting, and I'm not going to lie. Uh, Exotic Legend or Estrada Boy, uh, you don't do this again. You get your one, you get your one warning, just like Frost Gator, don't do it. Um, if you're on the same team, stay in with me. But if you're on the opposite team, please leave. Anyways, um, it gives you a placebo effect. The fact of the matter is, is that it gives you the opportunity to do better, and it's a lot easier to do better. So, because of that, you end up doing better. It does not give you a reduction in recoil, therefore, it is not a direct reduction or increase in accuracy. It's simply giving the opportunity to do better and aim better, and that is kind of where the placebo effect comes in. You think you're getting... You think that you're getting, you know, a boost in accuracy, whereas you're just getting the opportunity to, so you're just utilizing it better and more efficiently. And that's all I have to say about accuracy, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good one.